Hi, my name's Robert Brown and today I'm going to be taking you through a virtual walk around here at the Murray Sports Centre. We're also going to talk about the careers and paths that working in a gym environment, a sports centre environment could lead to. So here we are in the main cafe area and main reception area of the sports centre. As you can see at the back there, we've got a really nice um, coffee shop that um, is just one of the many opportunities that you can get to work in a sports centre like this. If you're just starting out, it's a great way to get into the gym environment already. Um, even when you're learning or getting your qualifications, it's, a, it's the best way to get into the environment and find out how much you really love it. When working in a cafe, you need to have really good customer service roles. You are at the very front door, so you need to have a good customer service ethos about you. You need to always be smiling and really understanding the needs and wants of your customers that you're providing to. Also, um, making sure that you're staying on top of health and hygiene kind of procedures and protocols. So make sure you have an understanding for all them and also a really good um, will for quality and control when you're making all the coffees to make sure that everything is going out as perfect as you can. Here we are at the main reception desk of the Murray Sports Centre. One of the first places that you'll come into uh, when going into the gym, this will be, this is our hub for everything that goes along in the centre. So as soon as come, you come in to sign up for a membership, and um, this is where you'll come, this is where our receptions will be. So you need to be the face of the company when you're standing here. And this is where all the, all the hard work happens. So getting someone signed up, to getting them onto the system, assigning them their membership card, and also our main booking system happens here. So learning all the different systems is something, a really good skill that you need to learn. Um, a lot of IT skills happen here. You need to make sure that you are um, taking good pride in your work, making sure everything's going in the cor correctly, making sure you're being really nice and polite to the customers coming in, especially because in a gym environment, you may get people that are not too sure about this whole um, gym side of things, so making sure they're comfortable and happy and you give them all the support they need when signing up. good thing about this area is it, you can learn a lot more about admin, bookings, events management, so it can lead to a lot of different career paths and eventually get you into the gym as well. So now that we've left reception, we're going to head down to the games hall and then we can speak more about all the different coaching opportunities that can happen through there. So we'll head down. Here we are in our amazing, massive games hall. So this is just a half of it that you can see here. We've got the other half over there. So this is where the majority of our clubs happen. So as you can see, we've got our badminton set up. So we range from badminton, table tennis, short tennis, netball, basketball, a lot of different sports go on at once. Our evenings are usually pretty busy, so um, part of the, our roles here is getting clubs from around the area to come in and use the facilities. So um, a part of your job from reception might be booking in clubs to come in on a weekly basis to use our facilities. Again, we offer a lot of sports development, so we uh, cater for TOTS, um, so from two to four year olds, kids classes that we offer in-house. So a really good career that we've got going um, is sports development and running camps. Um, and so that can be from teaching two year olds up to adults, different sports. We also deal with people with additional needs. So any disabilities that come in, our main goal is to be the most inclusive sports centre in the north of Scotland. And that's what we're trying to do. So you might go from a sport assistant helping set up bookings or sports development to running the actual classes. So lots of varied different careers that can happen just in this one room. So the skills that you need for potentially becoming a sports development coach is obviously you need to be organized. You need to have the ability to plan out your sessions really well. You need to be able to think on your feet. If you do get someone turn up that might need more additional help, you need to have a wide range of knowledge in all the different areas that you that you can cover um, and not just being stuck on one sport, being someone that can pretty much throw their hand at anything and do it as well as they can. In terms of how to get into that, um, you can go to become a sports coach. 
and that's what we look for. We look at people that have went to do sports coaching, whether that's a college or university, um, and learn how to how to set up for athletes to general population, um, so they can really get a wide variety of sessions in here. So next, we're going to head actually upstairs, where we're going to focus more on what it takes to be a fitness instructor, personal trainer or gym attendant. So we'll head upstairs and then we'll cover all the aspects of the job. So this is just the first half of the of the sports centre where we've already managed to rattle off loads of different jobs that can come with it. We'll head upstairs and get some more there. So here we are in our main studio corridor. So all together we've got three studios and studio three is our indoor cycle room. So if you wanted to get trained up to become a indoor cycle instructor. This is where you spend the majority of your time. Indoor cycles are a really great way of building up people's cardio. And um, so if you're into fitness and into keeping fit, you can go and learn um, how to become a indoor cycle certified instructor. A really good career and a really good asset to the fitness industry. It's a really popular, really popular class. Okay, so. Here we are in our main fitness studio. This is our main aerobic studio, so a lot um, of our high intensity classes happen here, all the way from body pump to fat burner classes to grit to dance, a lot goes on in here. From our sport assistant perspective, um, it's a really good place to be to develop into a fully qualified fitness instructor. So your sports development, um, your sports assistant team will be in here helping set up classes, clean down equipment, get organized, set up the sound system. So you need to be really on the ball, which is a good skill that to have to be motivated to do the best job you can. You also need to be really conscientious of your timekeeping because you need to make sure that you are setting up a class with enough time for the class to start, people turn up early, so making sure you're always on time, on the ball, and working to the best ability you can in here. In terms of, from a class instructor perspective, you need to be very understanding with the different client base that you have. You also need to make sure, again, good timekeeping skills. You don't want to be the last person here to your own class, um, so making sure you're organized, your sessions are planned, that's the main two key factors for the whole centre. It's being organised, good timekeeping, and being understanding of additional needs that people may have. So that's us covered two of our studios. We're gonna go into the third one. It's being occupied right now, but it is our mind and body studio. So we cover a lot more relaxed classes in there. So it'll be more like your yoga pilates, that is also the studio that we rent out to any businesses that want to come and use it as well. So again, throwing it back to that kind of reception side of things. So as you see the reception, it all develops all the way up here. So you're booking in different clubs and classes, dealing with um, timetabling. So again, being organized and making sure that all the bookings are in the right place and everything is set up and ready to go for them when they come in. So that is our three studios that we that are all very busy. So making sure that you're on top of them, keeping them clean, that's a main point as well. Always keeping the standards nice and high. So you need to have good standards when work, working in a sports centre like this. So that's the studios covered. We're gonna head through to the gym, which in my opinion is the real heart of the building. So we'll head through there and we'll see what's going on. So as we're heading to the gym, the best thing about working here at the Murray Sports Centre is the diversity of jobs that you get to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You're never going to have one day the same as the other because the timetable changes and your members change. You're always seeing new faces as you're going through the centre and there's lots of different areas that you can always be developing and learning from. So if you're really good in the gym but you're not as confident on reception, you'll soon get trained up and learn how to do all them different things as well. So you really, you really get to learn the business side of things as well, in terms of what it takes to actually put on just a single class. 
it's a lot more than them just turning up. There's a lot more into it, so you really learn more than just the fitness side of things or the reception side of things, the cafe side of things. You learn to adapt and jump into different areas and it can develop from working in a cafe to being a duty manager. So, here we are at the gym. So, this is where most of the exciting things happen. This is where people are coming in, working out, hopefully changing their bodies for the better, getting fit and healthy, and this is our main, main section of the building. Obviously, you come to a gym, you take out a membership, and it's mainly to either use the classes or the gym. So the main key roles that will be in here is your fitness instructors that will be in just to make sure the standards of the gym is kept clean, tidy, make sure members are safe and happy. And then you also have the other side of things, which will be personal trainers, which will be there to take on clients, uh, take on their training, and make sure they're doing everything um, correctly and pushing them to new limits. So in here is a really good opportunity to develop from a fitness instructor to a personal trainer one day and then developing from that to a, a strength and conditioning coach. So there's lots of different levels that you can step up to just by being in the gym environment. But if you love the gym, I can't think of a better job. If you're a gym junkie, get yourself working in a gym. So to get into personal training, you would go through your levels, so become a fitness instructor, and then become a personal trainer and then eventually maybe become a strength and conditioning coach. This can all develop from the ground up, so starting in the cafe, getting yourself into the centre, then eventually becoming that personal trainer if that's what you're wanting to do. So the main skills that you need to be working in the gym environment is obviously people skills, being able to interact with people confidently and help give any advice. Also, you have to be able to deal with any situations that might arise. If somebody's lifting dangerously, sometimes you have to ask them um, to not do that, basically. So, being able to deal with the situations, read people's um, whatever they're giving off to you, make sure you can calm down a situation if you need to. But that usually never happens. But you need to make sure you are take pride in your work, keeping everything clean. You also need to make sure you are confident and motivating as you're in here. You want to be encouraging people to work out, push themselves harder. And so yeah, you need to just be a really all-round good people, people person. And so you can interact and help people achieve the goals that they're trying to do when they come in here. So obviously we talked about all the people that you see going about the centre, taking the classes in the gym, but you've also got a lot of other things that go on behind the scenes. You've got marketing, you've got finance, you've got grounds and maintenance managers, and uh, you've got the ability to plan events, so we've got events and events team. But the best thing about working here is you aren't just stuck in your same role. So a lot of people have been given opportunities to either plan an event, run a class of their own, help with the maintenance outside, help with the maintenance around the building. So you really will learn a lot of different careers that you can take to anywhere in life. So when it comes to my career path here at the Murray Sports Centre, so I left school quite early and the first thing I went into was events management, which is what I was wanting to originally do. So I got my qualification in events management and I always have a, had, had a love for sport and I'd only then just discovered the gym. So then it was only the right move to try and get my personal training qualification. So I went and studied down in Glasgow and Edinburgh to get my PT qualification. Um, it took me about a year to get um, and that got me my level two fitness instructor qualification which allowed me to take inductions and group exercise classes like the spin classes. And that's what I started off doing while I had that qualification. I then built up some more knowledge in the industry and got my level three in personal training. Immediately after that, I started my own self-employed uh, personal training business in Elgin. And then the Murray Sports Centre happened. I got approached there by the CEO um, who had heard what I'd been doing uh, because I'd become quite, um, quite well known in the industry and quite um, established. Um, so I then came and worked from the Murray Sports Centre so I started out as a personal trainer and fitness instructor and I managed to work my way up and I am now a duty manager and a senior PT here. So I started from 
having no qualifications at all to actually be in charge of some of this decision making that goes on in the centre, in charge of the personal training team that we have here and also what goes on all around the centre and it has been the best decision I've made to come work here because there's so much going on, I've gained so much more skills and I wouldn't change anything for the world. So thanks for coming on our virtual tour of the Murray Sports Centre. Hope that you enjoyed that and got some valuable information from it. So if you are interested in working here or an environment like this, we'd recommend sending in your CV, give us a shout and we can see what opportunity we have here for you. Like we said, no matter what experience you've got, there's always a place for you in an environment like this.